What's up everyone, it's your boy NoRad89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video I wanted to do a little bit of, of a different one today talking about some horror news and also a new trailer that dropped so just kind of a general like like I said horror news or upcoming stuff or information that I found very interesting that I heard in the horror community that happened in the last few days so today like I said you're going to hear my thoughts on these things like I said one I got the strangers chapter one that trailer dropped so you're going to hear my thoughts on that also we have some stuff to talk about pray too and also some Friday the 13th news as well that I want to discuss and talk about so stay tuned to this video let's do this roll it <laughs> So let's start off and kick things right off with the Strangers Chapter 1 trailer dropped. And this is apparently going to be a prequel to the, two, I believe it was 2007 or 2008, The Strangers film, which I find quite fascinating. Me, I'm a fan of both films. I like The Strangers, that's my favorite, but I also really adore Strangers Pray at Night. I think both of them are very solid films. As, as it stands right now, I believe we live in kind of a perfect world where we have the strangers and the strangers pray at night. It's kind of like that Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day thing, you know what I mean? Debate, like it's like we just lived in that perfect world where two very amazing films existed and both people, like, you know, they were supporters of both sides and stuff, but now we're getting a third film, a new film into this edition of this franchise, and this one's directed by Rennie Harlan. If you're not familiar with Rennie, he's done Die Hard 2. He also did Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, and he also did Deep Blue Sea, so as it stands, Rennie Harlan is a very kind of He's a very visual storyteller, but he's also very campy and he's very silly and he's known for bringing the comedy, but he is very visual and he's very action oriented and that's the kind of stuff that Rennie goes for. So it's kind of interesting that they got him doing this film because The Strangers is something that I would think is the complete opposite realm. This is like the complete opposite realm of what Rennie's really good at. So I'm eager to see it because of that reason, mainly because of like the teaming of the creator and the story. But in terms of the trailer, <laughs> it didn't sell me on the movie. It, it wasn't like a trailer that had me like, yeah, I'm going to be there day one. It was kind of one of those trailers that I was like, oh, like... Really, we're just going to basically rehash the first film, but we're using a couple that is very liked, and they look like they're very much in love. So are we supposed to feel a little bit more for them because it's a couple that's very much in love compared to a couple like Scott Speedman and Liv Tyler's characters that are very tormented and they're kind of in a strange relationship and they're separating, you know. I don't know. It's just, and the, also the drop line, like at the end of the trailer, I thought was not good. I think the original drop line from the first movie is a lot better. So like that tagline at the end of the movie, you know, kind of thing. So yeah, the trailer didn't really sell me on this movie. This is still a movie that I'm going to see, you know, because I'm a horror fan. I love The Strangers, other movies, and I want to see what they do with this one. And I respect Rennie Harlan for some of the stuff that he's done in the past. So I'm definitely going to see this movie because of those reasons. But Am I completely on board with it right now? That's a negative. Another story I want to talk about is that Amber Mid Thunder is apparently in talks. We had, I think it was a Collider and Bloody Disgusting, both of those sites. They have stories on this right now. And Amber Mid Thunder is currently in talks for coming back for Prey 2. Yes, Prey is probably one of the greatest Predator sequels that's come out since that original film hands down and pray to is one of the most talked about sequels that's coming out for a predator film in a very long time so talked about that we actually have another predator film in talks of happening at the same time so it's very possible that in the next three years over the span of the next three years that we are going to be getting two different predator films one is a standalone film that's going to be called the badlands and then we also have a prey 2 sequel coming that's going to be directed by dan trachenberg as well and apparently like i said amber mid thunder is in talks to come back so the predator franchise is just booming right now in terms of the quality and the content and a lot of people it's been it's being talked about all over the film circuit and the film communities across the board. And our last story next up that I wanted to talk about is that Jason Blum is in talks with apparently getting James Wan and his crew to do a Friday the 13th remake on the big screen. And there's a couple things that bother me about this. One is 
I'm not very high on James Wan. I respect him, but I'm not very high on his films. He's not one of my favorite horror directors in the game or anything right now. Like, I would be much happier if they told me it was Mike Flanagan or Ty West or any one of those names over James Wan. So that's one thing that kind of bothers me about this story. And another thing is that I'm not... I like some Blumhouse things, and I think Blumhouse has a certain wheelhouse that they're really good at. There's a certain thing that they're really good at. They are great at pumping out quantity of horror, but not always quality. And when it comes to Friday the 13th, and it's been almost 13, 14 years since we've had a new Friday the 13th film, I want some quality. I don't want just the quantity rehash bullshit that we've seen before. I want some quality. So like in terms of the Peacock TV show that we're getting that's being produced by A24, that is much more right up my alley in terms of something that I'm interested in and I'm thinking about and I'm very excited about. This story, however, I'm not excited about. Like Jason Blum being involved does not excite me. The fact that he wants James Wan and his crew to do a Friday the 13th remake film. I'm like, it's 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 already been done. I don't want to see it again, dude. I really don't. I would rather them do a Friday the 13th movie continuing off of one of the other films or something like that or doing something completely different or just keeping their hands off of it because I respect the fact that James Wan is a horror director and he cares about the genre, but I just don't really want to see his, him and Jason Blum's version of Friday the 13th. I don't. I really don't want to see their version. So I'm much happier with the Peacock A24 news that we're getting. All that stuff excites me a lot more. So that's something that I wanted to talk about and bring up to on right now on this video. And if you guys are excited and you like videos like this and you think this is really cool and you want more like this, please let me know down in the comments and dropping a like on the video. That will also let me know that you want more videos like this where I talk about horror news or trailers or upcoming stuff or anything like that because this all excites me. Like I said, this is stuff that happened that I heard about in the last few days that I was reading or stories that were coming out and I just wanted to talk about it on the channel and discuss it right here. So fun little video. Thanks for sticking around with me all. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel, poke that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video, but most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.